Man, it's early in the morning here. Well, I'm recording this in Virginia, and um, my days have been so full, man, just full of helping people, of serving my customers, of um, loving all my students, preparing for upcoming courses that we're going to be teaching at Life Artistry Institute. And it's been really full. We've also been in the process of buying a house and uh, with some land, which has been a dream I've been creating, holding in my heart and creating. And it's actually all that all that I've been wanting to create for for quite some time. And good a good place to start the permaculture farming and giving back, teaching honor. Well, anyway, you know, the Bible says that love covers a multitude of sins. I think we're at a time in human history where it's more vital now than it's ever been to rediscover the sacred the divine in one another and in the world around us, man. Creation, this world, this planet, the universe that we live on is so beautiful. It's provided for us food, shelter, and clothing, and the air we breathe, <laughs> it's provided for us such a beautiful life. And right now more than ever, humanity has lost touch, has lost its connection with the universe more than ever. We seem to have lost our understanding of our oneness with all things, that we the Christ fill all things. We are much more than just these bodies, these animated bodies, and yet these animated bodies even are connected, interdependent with everything. And man, it's, it's wild as I watch people who most don't understand even the smallest degree of the connection they have with the land, with the earth. For ever, the native people have called th the land Mother Earth. Well, I hope you don't treat your mo mother as much like shit as human beings have been treating the earth, right? We as a species have been taking, taking, taking and seldom giving. And I want to encourage each one of you to really think about if we're going to take, if we're going to be a consumer, then we must also be a giver. Give and you shall receive. I think it's vitally important for us to learn that we don't just receive, we don't just have a right to receive, but when we receive from the land, from the earth, food, that we should give. And the problem is that you've gotten used to, you just give some money at Burger King or at the grocery store and they give you your meat or they give you your vegetables. But there's something about giving seed into the earth, giving into the earth, providing the earth, giving to the earth and it provides more nutrients and it, it, it takes care of the earth instead of just pulling. We have raped our land when it comes to the farming, the industrial farming that we do. We're not honoring the earth and creation. We're also honoring one another. 
And I want to encourage you to do that. To see the divine in your brother and your sister. To see the divine even in your enemy. Your enemy is only your enemy because you have not yet realized that you are one. The moment the realization hits you that you are one, everything changes. And in that one moment you realize that is not my enemy. That is myself. When you hate the liberal or the conservative because of their political views, you're hating an element of yourself. When you stand against a heterosexual or a homosexual, a white person or a black person, you're standing against yourself. Can you not see the divine in all things? Can you not see? I know you can. I know that deep down in every single one of you, there is a sense, a knowing, an intuition, a divine intuition, a divine knowing, a divine realization of the oneness that we share, of the union that we share, and of the divine in one another, that you can recognize that when you look at someone, that there's so much more than just this outward appearance, that there's so much more than even what they believe that they are, but there's something there that's bigger. When I look at the trees, we're buying this piece of property with a magnificent wooded lot and beautiful little forest there uh, right on near the mountainside. And it is beautiful. When I look at those trees, I see God. Not that the tree is God or that God is the tree, but I see God that it is this God, this divine thing, that this divine being, this divine essence that we all share in. And the tree is not separate from that sharing. The carrots that we pour to the ground, they're not separate from that sharing. The insects that crawl along the earth that a lot of you can't stand are an essential part of the earth. We need them. <laughs> the trees that we just cut down and we don't give back into the earth have provided us with air. And not only that, but they're living creatures, the living beings that communicate and send signals to other trees all over the world. Little mushrooms have a neural network that runs through the earth larger than any other network. It is, this earth is incredible. Mother Earth is incredible. And she's still wanting to and is still providing for you and for me. And I think it's time that we honor her and that we honor one another and that we begin to teach and share the importance of this honor, of this love, because love covers a multitude of sins. I love you. I don't care if you've been honoring up to this point others or whether you've been honoring the earth. I'm not against you. I love you, and I see the divine in you. Despite maybe what you've done or where you've been, it does not matter to me. I see the divine in you, and I honor you. You might not honor me. You might dislike me, but I honor you, and I love you. I believe that this union that we share with one another and with the world is the key to our continual evolution. That is our evolving, we're either devolving or evolving. And I believe that it is the key to our continual evolution. But as long as we stay blind to our oneness, we'll go on dishonoring one another and the earth in which we live. We'll go on fighting fights that never get won, winning a battle only to fight another one and lose. And I'm encouraging you right now, it doesn't matter what field you're playing in, what, what realm you want to create in as a life artist or field you want to play in within that artistry, whether it be politics or business or whether it be farming. I'm encouraging you to simply right now see the oneness in your opponent. See the oneness in the one that you're wrestling with. And honor them 
And then look outside. I don't care if you live in the city or in the country. Look outside. Go hug a tree or go get near nature as close to it as you can and recognize that it's that thing that we've been destroying, paving over with asphalt and building, destroying woods and building these buildings. It's, but it's that stuff that we've been paving over that has been providing for us the air that we breathe and the lives that we have in these bodies. And so let's honor we are one. With one another and with the universe. I honor you. I love you. Drop comments below. Please share this video. And go ahead, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. You're incredible. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Thank you.